How do psychedelics affect the unconscious mind? In this video, we're going to attempt to answer that question. I'm going to share a specific case study from my work as a psychedelic facilitator to demonstrate the ways that psychedelics can unlock doors of perception inwardly into the depths of the unconscious mind and why this is a key for healing, personal growth, and transformation. Just in the same way that we use a telescope to peer more deeply into space, psychedelics represent a tool by which we can peer more deeply inwards into the depths of the mind and specifically the unconscious. According to multiple studies, psychedelic assisted therapy helps to significantly improve the symptoms of depression in around 80% of cases, which makes psychedelic assisted therapy the most successful treatment that we've ever discovered when it comes to addressing depression. So how are these remarkable findings possible? Well, it all links to the unconscious mind. Let's explore. Hey everyone, my name is Jonas. I'm the founder of Inner Vision Psychedelics, and here on this channel, we're all about psychedelic education and consciousness exploration. Now, over the past few years of working as a psychedelic facilitator at a legal retreat center, I've had the privilege of facilitating hundreds of psychedelic experiences, and I've come to realize that this is the core essential basic function as to what psychedelics do to the psyche. These are tools for making the unconscious conscious. They help us to expand our awareness of our inner life, of our inner reality. And in fact, this is what the word psychedelic means. The root of this word means mind revealing. Did you know that according to research, we're only aware of about 5% of our cognitive activity? So the vast majority of our decisions, habits, behaviors, feelings are all tied to 95% of the cognitive function that is unconscious. Now, Carl Jung has a quote that says, until you make the unconscious conscious, it will direct your life and you will call it fate. Jung, Freud, and all of the most influential psychotherapists have acknowledged and taught that in order to create personal growth and transformation and healing, we need to address the depths of our being, the unconscious mind, right? So let's consider for a moment this classic metaphor or image of the mind as an iceberg where everything beneath the surface, the vast majority of the iceberg, is outside of our awareness. It's unconscious. Under the influence of a psychedelic substance such as psilocybin or LSD, it's almost like the waterline recedes or the iceberg begins to turn over so that more and more of what's beneath the surface is revealed. During a psychedelic experience, it's very typical for all of these memories and thoughts and experiences and feelings going all the way back to early childhood just start bubbling up out of the unconscious into the light of awareness. Like, wow, there's that memory. I haven't thought about that in over 20 years. The technical term for this is that psychedelics mobilize the unconscious. So let me give you an example of this. I want to invite you to take a moment just to bring into your mind's eye a memory or an experience from your childhood. It doesn't have to be anything special or anything in particular. Whatever comes up is fine. Now, in just taking a moment with that, isn't it interesting how just a moment ago, that memory or that experience was outside of our conscious awareness? And now it's here in the light of consciousness. Again, this process is exactly what psychedelics help to spontaneously, naturally facilitate. It's worth acknowledging that there are parts of the mind that are so deep down there that they're not at all accessible to us, no matter how hard we look, except under special or specific circumstances, such as when we take psychedelics. 
And you may notice that when the unconscious is mobilized in this way, that's not just a cognitive process. There are often powerful feelings or emotions that are associated with that, right? So when I think back to this memory of myself as a child playing on the swing set in my backyard, there's this feeling of, of joy, uh, playfulness associated with that, right? Likewise, there might be sadness or fear or loneliness or anger or whatever else. So to connect this back to psychedelic assisted therapy, psychedelics are tools for mobilizing the unconscious, for expanding our awareness of our inner world. As we do so, as that happens, feelings and emotions emerge out of the depths of the unconscious into the light of conscious awareness where there's then an opportunity for a cathartic release and unburdening of all this stuck emotional energy, right? Feel it to heal it, as they say. If we look beneath the surface of depression, almost always there are unresolved feelings of anger or rage or grief or shame that have yet to be un that have yet to be released, right? Now the amazing thing is that if and when we can find a safe and supportive space to release, to express those scary or painful emotions, on the other side of that are breakthroughs in healing and personal growth. So let me give you a specific example, a story of a client who I worked with recently to exemplify what I'm saying. I'm gonna change some of the details here to protect anonymity, but this was a lady in her 50s who was struggling with depression. And on the surface, she lived a very happy life. She was very successful, had a great career, had a relatively happy marriage and a good family life. Outwardly, everything was fine. And this made her struggles with depression even harder. She had been struggling with depression for over 20 years and had no idea where this was coming from. Her life was good and yet she was still depressed. This was just making her feel even worse. So I facilitated a mushroom experience for her. There were lots of emotions that were moving through the experience, lots of crying, some anger coming through as well. And after the experience, she described to me what happened. She told me that she went back in her memory to 40 years ago. When she was a teen, there was, she experienced an accidental pregnancy as well as a miscarriage. She said that during her mushroom experience, she was able to grieve the miscarriage for the first time in her life. She saw this unborn child as a ball of light. She saw that it was a girl. She even gave her a name. She was able to grieve for the first time. She also realized how much rage and anger she had towards her parents for not being there and really supporting her at that time. She was yelling, she expressed that anger and rage, and then was able to continue crying and came to a place of tenderness, right? Where she was able to forgive her parents and forgive herself as well. She ended up in this beautiful place of love, right? And gratitude and appreciation for what she has in her life. The next day when we were talking and I was just integrating with her, she told me something along the lines of, I don't want to be naive about this, but as of right now, it feels that my depression is cured. And what was truly amazing about this to her as well as to me was that according to her, she hadn't thought of this experience in almost 40 years, right? She had fully just put it out of her mind and locked it away. It wasn't remotely on her radar. She had no idea that this experience all those years ago could be tied to her depression and all the symptoms of depression that she was experiencing every day in the present. And yet something in her seemed to know. How is it that in her first experience with mushrooms, that was the very first thing that came up? That was exactly where her mind went. It's very, it's amazing. It's astonishing. It's mysterious how this process of healing and awakening unfolds. So this case study is just one example of how psychedelics mobilize the unconscious mind, expand our awareness, and how the very natural byproduct of that is healing, growth, and spiritual transformation. 
it really does extend all the way into spiritual transformation. It doesn't stop just at the healing because the deeper we go into the depths of the unconscious, there's essentially an infinite ocean within each one of us waiting to be explored. Eventually, we start accessing what Jung described as the collective unconscious, this sense that my own seemingly personal limited psyche is in fact part of a much greater reality. It's almost like the iceberg realizing that it's floating in a vast ocean with countless other icebergs and that all the other icebergs as well as the ocean itself are all made fundamentally of the same thing. There is a lot more to be said about all of this. This is just kind of a broad overview. Please comment down below. I'm very curious to hear what are your thoughts or reflections about the ways that psychedelics can facilitate an exploration of the unconscious mind. The potential for transformation here is just enormous and when it comes to psychedelic research, we're just starting to scratch the surface of a deeper understanding of how all of this actually works and process and unfolds. It's very mysterious. It's incredible. That's why I love talking about it. Please visit me on InterVision Psychedelics to learn more about my work. You can also check me out over at Patreon to support this work of psychedelic education and consciousness exploration. I appreciate it so very much. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you back here very soon.